Guys, more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 information. Today is just the day, apparently, for information. And it's all about Nuketown, baby. This is a big deal. Every time I've covered Nuketown in Black Ops 3, sort of speculating or looking at hints, there's always been a huge response, and you guys have always been extremely, extremely interested. Previously, we've seen some of the characters in the multiplayer trailer being named uh, actually after Nuketown, which has given us massive hints. We have had big, big hints, but I've always said to you guys, do not 100% be sure that the map is going to be in the game right until today. Until today, my friends. Believe it or not, on the Brazilian PSN store, if you go to the Black Ops 3 Digital Deluxe Edition, the store has actually been updated with additional information. So it turns out that we will actually be getting, if you pre-order Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and currently it's just listed for the Digital Deluxe Edition, I'm not sure if this is going to be for other editions as well. We haven't got official confirmation yet. This probably shouldn't have gone live on the P Brazilian PSN store, but this is how it's been leaked so far. But it's letting us know that if we pre-order Black Ops 3, we'll be getting Nuketown, baby. The E in the nuke has been changed to a 3. I wasn't sure what they were going to call it, but they're going to call it Nuketown 2065. But of course, this is the third edition of the map. We've had Nuketown, Nuketown 25, 2025, and now this version, the third version. So calling it Nuketown the 3, I like the name. But that is going to be one of the pre-order bonuses for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. We've actually got a translation here of what the map's going to be like. You can get the bonus Nuketown map. This map is, of course, one of the fan favorites. I absolutely love it. It's just chaotic, and if things go well, things go really, really well. It was completely redesigned. Big change here to highlight the new movement system uh, within Call of Duty Black Ops 3, of course, by the guys at Treyarch, providing battles filled with adrenaline. So this is interesting. It's not just going to be Nuketown thrown in there again, looking a little bit more modern. According to this, it's going to actually be completely redesigned. Whether or not that means they're going to be throwing in whole new buildings, whether or not they're going to be opening up the map even more. Of course, the big movement features are being able to wall run. So there's, there's got to be more walls. I'd assume even more buildings in there as well. And the sliding system and the boosting system. System. So maybe a little bit more verticality, maybe um, bigger buildings thrown in there. I think the map's going to be extended. That's what I believe. I think they're going to extend the map, make it a larger area. Otherwise, it's just going to be the typical new town that we're used to, which isn't a bad thing. But obviously, these guys want to mix it up and really highlight how a new movement system works really well within Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So this is huge and awesome, awesome information. I'd assume this is going to be announced maybe soon because of this leak. But it's definitely one of those big pre-order bonuses which people are going to get really, really hyped for. So when they do announce it, it's going to be a big one. I would expect some sort of trailer for this at some point. Maybe not too soon, but I would definitely assume a Black Ops 3 Newtown trailer at some point. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated on that. But what are you thinking? Are you happy that Newtown is going to be returning to Black Ops 3? I'm pumped, man. I'm glad it's been officially confirmed. Deep down, I knew it'd be happening, but I didn't want to like, get my hopes up too much just in case. But I'm really excited to see this back, and I can't wait to see what it's looked like, uh, what it looks like, and how it's going to actually be redesigned. So as I said, it is a big day for news, guys. Check out our video earlier today. We've got information on the MP7 returning to Black Ops 3, and also the final sniper rifle called the Power Bolt Sniper. It's mad. So check out those videos, guys. Tons more awesome Black Ops 3 content coming your way. Thanks so much for watching. Stay subscribed, and I'll see you guys later with another video. Hidden weapons within the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta, my friends. The final sniper rifle and a new SMG and also a secret LMG as well. Tons of new stuff. What's going on? How has this happened? As you guys know, yesterday the beta launched for Xbox and PC. It's now finished on PlayStation 4. But within the PC build of games, lots of modders and people that know what they're doing with PC files can go in and actually find elements of the game that aren't meant to be playable, but are hidden within the files that developers have left in there that were never meant to be within the beta. So in the case of Call of Duty Black Ops 3, there's actually gun files and gun information in the beta which weren't, wasn't supposed to be available for the public that modders have gone in, found, and managed to pull out those files to actually use the weapons in-game. So what am I talking about? I can't actually use the footage in this video um, because as I said it's like secret hidden weapons that shouldn't really be available yet, but I'll leave a link to the full video down below in the description. Let's have a look at this image right here. This is the Power Bolt Sniper Rifle. It has five bullets per magazine and looks nuts. It does sound exactly like the intervention from Black Ops 2, and I'll talk a little bit about why there's some similarities to some of the older Call of Duty Black Ops games. But it looks nuts and definitely looks like it could be the final sniper rifle. As you guys know, within the beta, there's a lot of stuff that's hidden. 
There's a secret score street was hidden, a lot of the weapons are hidden, and stuff that just wasn't available to unlock because of the level cap or just because it wasn't available within the game. So if you're big into your sniping, this is what will probably become the standard beast sniper rifle that people will like to use if you're going for montages or going for those really cool sniper clips. Looks insane, sounds insane, this thing is definitely a monster and that's going to be the final sniper rifle that we'll know of within multiplayer. What's up next? A brand new SMG and I say new SMG, it's actually the MP7 from Black Ops 2. Now it looks exactly the same, doesn't sound exactly the same. Um, obviously the, the textures and the way it looks have been upgraded slightly for Black Ops 3. But a lot of people have been watching this video and looking at this version of the gun and saying but it's exactly the same in Black Ops 2, it's got to be fake. And that goes back to what I said about the sniper rifle sounding like the ballista from Black Ops 2. So when developers are making the game and putting things together, things aren't finalized and finished. Especially if these weapons weren't meant to be in the beta, these files would have been put into the game unfinished. So what does this mean? Well this gun isn't even named in the video, it's just it's called like a burst SMG, which isn't even a burst SMG, it's a fully automatic SMG. Um, either the MP7 is returning, it's going to look exactly the same, bit of nostalgia, honestly I'd be quite happy with that. Or the MP7 is going to be returned, they're going to change the looks, upgrade it a little bit, and none of those upgrades visually have been finished yet. But all of the old files were shoved into the beta, and that's why the gun looks exactly the same. So, some options there. I mean, that gun may not even make it into the final version of the game. These just files have been pulled out currently from the beta files. There's a lot, a lot being thrown around right now. Now, for one split second in the video, you can actually see another crazy gun being held. This is supposedly an LMG, and according to the comments, from the video uploader, it's actually an LMG that gets slower in fire rate the longer you shoot for. So a very interesting one there. Wasn't any gameplay of it, just a very, very small clip of it. It was a little bit glitched because, again, the gun wasn't fully finished. So what does this all mean? Are the guns real? Are the guns fake? That is the question right now. I'm going to put my hands up in the air and say I think these guns are definitely real. They may not be completed visually and some of the sounds may still need correcting, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing the Power Bolt Sniper Rifle as the final sniper rifle in Black Ops 3. The MP7 SMG, I want it to return the way it looks right now, but I still feel like it's not quite finished. We've got to do a little bit of tweaking to it so it may change visually a little bit. And then that secret LMG is going to pop up somewhere as well. And as I said, fire rate's going to slow down the longer you shoot for. So there you go guys, some hidden files in the Black Ops 3 beta. Um, it could be a fake video, could be modding that isn't legitimate, but as far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure this is going to be real. Especially since it was taken from the PC files, there's always tons of hidden stuff. Whenever a PC game for Call of Duty gets released, people always dive into those files. So let me know what you guys think. Do you like the look of a sniper rifle? What do you think about the MP7 returning? Leave your comments down below. Share it with your friends who think they'll be interested as well because it's a very, very cool video. If anything else gets found out from the PC files, you'll be the first to know. So thank you for watching. Another video will be coming out later today as well, so look out for that. I'll see you guys tomorrow.